A moving show of solidarity in South Carolina last weekend. Members of Pittsburgh's New Light Congregation from the Tree of Life Synagogue marching alongside members of Charleston's Emmanuel AME Church. That's the church where a gunman shot and killed nine people back in 2015. Two religious communities deeply affected by gun violence. Lynn Hayes Freeland was the only member of the Pittsburgh media invited to join them. She has more tonight on their message and show of strength. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday is a big day here in Charleston, South Carolina. In fact, the city hosts one of the biggest parades ever on the actual birthday. But this year, 2019, in the middle of this parade is a group of people from Pittsburgh. This MLK Day Parade had everything you would expect. Marching bands, floats, supporters lining the sidewalks. But in the midst of more than 200 groups marching in this parade were a group wearing stronger than hate t-shirts, carrying signs that read no place for hate. Members of the New Light Congregation in Pittsburgh, joined by members of Emmanuel AME Church in Charleston and members of the Jewish Federation, marching arm in arm. Behold how good and nice it is for brothers to dwell together. We are saying today that words matter, that hate will not win, that love is stronger than hate. It was hate that brought these two congregations together. In June of 2015, Dylan Roof entered Emmanuel's regular Bible study with a gun, killing nine people. In October of 2018, Robert Bowers entered the Tree of Life synagogue, killing 11 people, including three from New Light. On this day, these two congregations joined forces to send a message, one they hope will be heard around the world. We um, will not be broken by this, and I, that continues to be my motto throughout this uh, experience. The parade was just one of several meetings between the two congregations that share a special bond, now unbreakable. It was called right. a trip of healing, and for many from Pittsburgh, it was just that. Our brothers, our sisters, touch them, God, now as you can. And I feel like I accomplished what I came here to do, which is to hug the people in this church. Healing is different for everyone, but seeing firsthand that you will survive can make all the difference. I think when they saw me all in one piece in my right mind and had gone through all of this, I think they felt good. At, at least they probably knew they could reach that same level. From Charleston, South Carolina, Lynn Hayes Freeland.